Now to our ABC News exclusive with a school bus driver in South Carolina who kept his cool during an armed hijacking, helping all 18 children on board walk away safe. We're going to speak with Kenneth Corbin. There he is. We're going to speak to him live in just a moment. But first, Janae Norman has that story. This was the heart-stopping moment an Army trainee used a rifle to hijack a South Carolina school bus with 18 children inside earlier this month. Bus driver Kenneth Corbin keeping his cool and the children safe for six painstaking minutes. Ten-year-old Keandre James was one of the students on board. I called my dad and so I was telling him that I was being held hostage. The gunman eventually letting Corbin and the children get out to safety. Police identifying the gunman is 23-year-old Jovan Colazzo. This morning, he remains in custody, facing two dozen charges, including 19 counts of kidnapping. A veteran school bus driver, Corbin, had recently completed annual training about what to do if a bus is taken hostage. You can see and hear how calm he was, how controlled he was, and how his training um, was put to good use. State officials honoring Corbin Friday for being a hero under extreme pressure. For Good Morning America, Janae Norman, ABC News, New York. Our thanks to Janae and joining us now is Kenneth Corbin. Good morning, Mr. Corbin. Thank you so much for your time. And you heard Janae just refer good morning. To, good morning to you, sir. Janae just referred to you as a hero. Others have said that about you as well, but you say, nope, the praise should go to the students mm -hmm. on board. Why do you feel mm -hmm. that way? Well, actually, when, when at the very end, the kids were the one that actually got the uh, gentleman off of the bus. Um, and they pretty much had my back as much as uh, my concern were with them. And, and at the end, when they start questioning him, you know, it, it, it seemed to have frustrated him because his main objective were to get to the next town. Mm. But in the end, I think we only rode about four miles and he just got frustrated with the questions and just told me to stop the bus and just get off, all y'all get off. And that, that was about it. So it, it was the interaction that was going on with the students that was frustrating him? Oh, uh, well, yes, uh, as we were traveling, I guess he realized there were several students you know, at the rear of the bus and kind of scattered throughout the bus, and he decided to move all the students up front. So he got, I guess, to keep, them, keep us all in close proximity. And when he did that, uh, especially some of my kindergartens, they started asking mm. him questions as to, uh, asking him, was he a soldier? And, and he answered, uh, well, it seemed like he hesitantly answered, but he said, yes, I'm a soldier. And then they wanted to know why. They asked him, why, why are you doing this? And My. he never did have an answer for that one. Then they asked, well, well was he going to hurt them? He said, no. And then they asked, was they going to hurt our bus driver? And he said, no, all I'm going to do is take y'all and just put you off the bus. And from that point, it seemed like he sensed more questions coming and it seemed like, I guess something clicked in on his mind and said, enough, enough already. And he just told me to stop the bus and y'all to stop the bus right here and just get off. Well, I'm, I don't and know. That was pretty much uh, the point. I, I'm just chills hearing your a, a, account like that. What was going through your mind, sir, when all mm -hmm. this was happening? Well, when, when it first happened, I realized that, you know, he had a weapon when he presented the weapon uh, pretty much after I had told him well, when he was coming up the steps, I, you know, the, our first thing to tell an adult was kind of point out, push our hands out and tell them that, you know, they're not allowed on the bus. And, and I had to tell him that twice. And when I told him that twice, that's when he presented his weapon and told me to, to close the door and move and drive and drive. And, and from that point on, it was just a matter of just staying calm and following his uh, instructions and thinking about the kids because they didn't want to do anything that would, you know, that would rile him to, to cause him to do something that, you know, would bring harm to my kids. Yes, sir. And his main objective was to get to the next town. He asked me how full was the next town and just pretty much told him 15 to 20 miles. And 
seemed like about every 500 feet or less, he wanted to know how far to go, how much further. And, this, and after that, we can approach um, a traffic light and he asked me to speed up or told me to speed up and don't let the red light catch me. And we got through that light and, and that's when he moved, shortly after that, he moved the kids up front. And then he wanted to know again how far and all I could say was 15 to 20 miles because we, we hadn't really gone that far. And then he wanted to know where the next town was. And so I told him, uh, we're going to have to go to Kershaw County. And we was headed that way, uh, Highway 12 in Columbia. And, but how you say shortly after that, the kids got him frustrated. And, and in the end, I don't, we may have gone four miles mm. before we got off the bus. Yes. Well, I'm glad that everybody was safe and sound. And before we go, uh, you referred to your, I was a school bus driver as well. What do we refer to our students on that bus? What do we say? What what, what do we refer to them as? Well, we call them precious cargo. Mm -hmm. Precious cargo, indeed. And, uh, well, and so that morning, you know, that was so evident that they were precious cargo, and I pretty much just had to just do whatever, you know, to get them off of the bus safe and sound. And and here and again. It seemed as if it was their goal to do the same by me, and that's why I refer to them as my heroes. Yes, y'all had each other's backs. So, Mr. Kenneth Corbin, thank you so much, sir, for being with us. And they are very, yes. very, very fortunate to have you as their, as their school bus driver. You take care. Our best to all, sir. All right, thank you. Take thank care. You. You're right. welcome. You took care of that precious cargo. You certainly did. <laughs> sure did. Mm -hmm. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.